Great activation site here. If you live locally in the area, you can meet all these amazing people, these big brands that support this event. Bonsoy, the presenting sponsor of the longest running event on the calendar. Simon introduced the thruster and was untouchable. But then the finals day was one foot and he could still ride the same board and beat everybody. Important heat getting started, though, for a former finalist out here, Callum Robson, with a big hook. Wow, that was one big, massive carve there. And it's kind of what we grew to know from Callum out at Bells. Will this wave give him anything else here on the inside? Is he going to be able to get a finish? Oh, he is going to be viewing that he didn't make that turn. And then Cade Madsen needing a big result here, really unloaded on his opening wave. Wow, this was beautiful surfing from Cade. This wave just had that really clean face, and right now with so much b lump and bump on the ocean, these ones are hard to find. They look sort of like a diamond in the rough. That was great surfing. Up here, Laura. Yeah, we got to think about a feat soon. <laughs> and right in action with Cole Hausman on the back end. How she looking for a nice inside wall to grow? He's got a real cool, powerful back end. Now a section approaching, hacks his way through, beats the section with that maneuver right into a hack off the top and a bonus finishing move. He'll stay on his feet. It's cool when you see a guy that's 6'3", 225, that can be so light on his feet when he needs to be on those sections that are going really flat. He carries his speed so incredibly well. Time was ticking down there. He kind of needed to get away from the board, especially now that Cade's sort of locked in that 7-3-3, drifted the fins there on that first turn, carves back into that second. The wave sort of got a little bit slower through this mid part here, and I was almost thinking, is, is it sort of over? But Cole could see something down the line, floats that section there, blasts the fins out as well, up for a second one, and quickly up for another little finish there. Such a standout in San Clemente, still rips today. A lot of names that might not be heard globally, but oh. so many rippers. Kate Madsen as well, right in that same neighborhood, throwing down a little climb and getting out in front. Little fading cutback. Now starting to work through the inside. Remember, had the 7-3-3 and throws Whoa. the fins out. Beautiful connection there for Cade. Wave selection, maybe just letting him down. A little bit of an error, but this is the one we were talking about. Fins free on that first turn. Straight up into that foamy section there. This little bit here was really hard to read, but he did it so well. Comes through to the inside here, and the damage wasn't done. He throws it up again and releases those fins. Looking very good. There are two waves that I'd be stoked to have. Callum kicks out. Interesting. Maybe a little bit of an error from Callum there. I think just using that priority. and I mean, it's just amazing how one event can just bring so much joy and so much sadness. Cole Hausman on his second scoring wave of the matchup being very selective. A couple of wrapping cutbacks, but that'll be enough to move into the top two. Probably hoping for a bit more there. Not doing his and our pillows we're and just have a little sleep here and wake up. We'll be back in a couple hours. <laughs> so we watch uh, a ride here for Cade Matson. Quick little check off that first section. Digging deep off the bottom. Beautiful Whoa. timing on the forehand snap. Extended bottom turn and punches it. Out in front for the wrapping cutback. Really loving his combinations. Had to kind of force that one, but wasn't his fault. The wave just kind of went flat and then punches it out and stays on his feet. A very aggressive, confident. As we see him just not going. You can see Cade chipped into the first one. This was the 5-4-7. Cade didn't need this number, but Callum sure, certainly did. Oh, wow. Yeah, beautiful surfing by uh, Cade here. That He's looking really, really in form. And, uh, Approach to this heat when he could have been rattled with the situation of being in the ER. Hausman oh. finds some space to lay down that rail. Had the vertical before that off the lip. That was the money turn for Haoshi. And now kind of a lunge back into the pocket. We'll trim the whitewater turn. And still running through. So Callum didn't want a piece of this wave. Mm. Letting it go with priority. And Cole Hausman basically dry docks it on the sand. Loses the final turn. And now one minute to go. This, yeah, wow, two mistakes there by Callum. You just let those two waves go through. 
Cole says, thank you very much. I will take off on this wave and I will go to town. I'll get this 4.37. Honestly, Callum just needed to take off and do one top turn. He would have had that 2.86, I think it was. That was pretty radical. It and you could see where Callum was sitting. He wasn't really interested no. in paddling close to where Cole or Cade were. So he was, you know, a few feet away from even getting involved in those last two waves. Mm. Judges, you know, still looking at that final replay of Callum Robson to see if he got up in time. His good friend and coach, Cal Bell Warren, breaking down what will be a very disappointing result and he'll have the pressure of the world on his shoulders heading into margaret river main break to save his spot on the top 34. 